We've already talked about the elephant that lived on the Royal Mile, but what about your favorite literary criminals, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde? One inspiration for Stevenson's characters came from Deacon William Brody, who was a cabinet maker and a president of a trades guild in the mid 1700s. He was considered a respectable man and socially mingled with the gentry. By day, part of his job included installing and repairing locks on Edinburgh's most fashionable and therefore wealthy homes. And at this point, you may be able to see where the story is going. Because by night, Brody entered the houses he'd installed the locks for and stole from his customers. With the money, he led a double life with two different mistresses by which he had five children and he gambled the rest of it away. He got caught after an attempted robbery of Chessel's court and a whirlwind chase around Europe. Society, much like in the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde was horrified to learn of Brody's secret life. Ironically, after his trial, he was hanged on gallows that he himself had designed.